they have a duta guitar. Not as popular as a Bhagavad Gita. But the sage is saying this thing. He says, I have no birth, no death, no duties. I've never done anything, either good or bad. I am purely Brahman, the Absolute, beyond all qualities. How could I have bondage or liberation? exist for me. If God is all-pervading, immovable, whole, without any parts, then there is no division in this God at all. How then could He be regarded as within or without? The whole universe is shining as one, without any split or break or separate parts. The idea of Maya, the great illusion, is itself the great delusion. Duality and non-duality are mere concepts of the mind. The world of forms and the formless void, neither of this, neither of these exists independently. In the one, there is neither separation nor union. Truly, there is nothing but Shiva being alone. I have no mother or father or brother. I have no wife or son or friend. I have no attachments or non-attachments. How then do you justify this anxiety of the mind? It is not undivided, nor is it divided. It experiences neither sorrow nor joy. It is not the universe, nor is it not the universe. Understand that the Self is eternally one. In me there is no impurity such as attachment. There is no bodily pain for me. Understand that I am the Self. I am unity. I am vast as space, like the sky above. O oh mind, my friend, what is the good of so much speaking? O oh mind, my friend, all of this has been made quite clear. I have told you what I know to be true. You are the ultimate reality. You are unbound like space. It doesn't matter where a yogi may die, one who knows the truth. It doesn't matter how he may die. He becomes absorbed in the Absolute, as the space within a jar becomes absorbed in the outer space when the jar is destroyed. All duties, wealth, enjoyments, liberation, all people and objects in the world as well. Everything, to the eyes of the one who sees, is like the illusory water in a, des in a desert mirage. There is no action, either present, future or past, which has been performed or enjoyed by me. This I know without any doubt. The Havadut lives alone in an empty hut, with a pure, even mind, he is always content. He moves about naked and free, aware that all of this is only the Self.